Hi, my name is Jessie Dupree, and I did an author study on Betsy Lewin. Betsy Lewin was born on May 12, 1937, in Clearville, Pennsylvania. When she was a child, she always loved drawing in her free time. Ever since she can remember, she wanted to become an artist. Her mother was a kindergarten teacher who read to Betsy every night while her dad was a great storyteller. Betsy Lewin loved the artwork of A.B. Frost and Ernest Shepard and was inspired by James Stevenson and Quentin Blake. She went to Pratt Institute and majored in illustration. She started off creating greeting cards and then began to draw for children's magazines and finally began illustrating. An editor at Dodd, Mad & Company asked her to expand one of those stories into a picture book. Betsy said, I jumped at the chance. I've been doing picture books ever since and loving every moment. Betsy Lewin has written and illustrated many books. She mostly draws a black pen and uses different watercolor washes to paint her pictures. But she also paints in a naturalistic style in many of her other books as well. Betsy met Ted Lewin at Pratt Institute and they got married in 1963. Ted and Betsy Lewin write and illustrate many books together. One of their favorite hobbies is traveling to wilderness areas throughout the world, hiking, canoeing, and observing wildlife. As they travel around the world, they write and illustrate stories based on their adventures. Some of my favorite books that she illustrated include Click Clack Moo, Cows at Type, Click Clack Boo, Click Clack Peep, Thumpy Quack Moo, Click Clack Splish Splash, these books were all written by Doreen Corin and illustrated by Betsy Lewin. Some other books that she is famous for include Cowgirl Kate and Coco, Thumpy Feet, You Could Do It, The Little Bitty Baker. All of these are written by various authors but illustrated by Betsy Lewin. I checked these 10 books out of the library and studied how her artwork changed over time. In 1983, she wrote Cat Count. In 1990, Araminta's Paint Box. 1991, Gobble. 1992, Jim Hedgehog and the Lonesome Tower. 1999, Aunt Minnie McGranham. 2001, Elephant Quest. 2001, Dumpy LaRue. 2005, Cowgirl Kate and Coco, 2008 Horse Song, and in 2009 Bar Baloroma. Betsy Lewin began drawing for many different authors. Some of her earlier work was strictly black and white, and over the years she added color. Her drawings are mostly very colorful using big shapes and painting her pictures with watercolor. She uses black lines to create detail on her pictures. In her earlier years, she drew the illustrations mostly for fantasy and animal fiction books, such as Cat Count, Dumpy LaRue, and Cowgirl Kate and Coco. She has also illustrated books that are historical nonfiction. Her illustrations have developed into resembling actual pictures with vivid detail. She uses bright colors to convey the mood of the story and often incorporates her old and new drawings in each book. She has illustrated many books that her husband has written, and she has written her own books as well. These books are more realistic and describe historical events such as the California Gold Rush and Amarita's Paint Box, and traditions of Thanksgiving in the book Gobble. Other books are written and illustrated based on Ted and Betsy's visits around the world, such as the Mor Moribi Wildlife Reserve in Bosnia. In Elephant Quest, the Summer Festival in Mongolia, in Horse Song, and the Trained Elephants in Southern India in Barlamola. Some common themes she uses in her books are animals, history, and adventures. Over the years, she has added more color, detail, and shading to convey a more naturalistic drawing. These are some of her drawings that represent her use of watercolors. These pictures are more simplistic and focus on the lines and shape more than the actual color. These are some of her drawings that represent her naturalistic illustrations. These pictures are more realistic and incorporate more detail. Betsy Lewin has won many awards over the years for her illustration. She is the Cal Caledicott 
honor winning illustrator for Click Clack Moo, Cows at Type, as well as Giggle Giggle Quack and Duck for Pre President. According to ALSC, it is awarded annually by the Association for Library Service to Children, a division of the American Library Association to the artists of the most distinguished American picture book for children. Her book, Duck for President, won New York Times Best Illustrated Children's Book Awards. She won this award based on her illustrations for that year. Her book, Horse Song, The Nadam of Mongolia, won the ALA Notable Bank Street College Best Books of the Year. Each year, a committee of the Association for Library Service to Children, ALSC, identifies the best of the best in children's books. She won this award. Here are some videos of Betsy Lewin discussing her books and illustrations, as well as a link to her website. These are the websites that I use, and here are my references and sources.